Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another vlog of mine. So I'm going to talk about The Walking Dead since it's going to be on tonight. And on uh, cinemablend.com or .org or whatever, they're talking about uh, how the weekly something said that Daryl's character is going to get darker. Now, to tell you the truth, I am not going to really believe it until I actually see it for myself. And the only reason why I say this is because first, People are saying, oh, Daryl's character is going to become gay. Oh, Daryl's character is going to be killed off. Now they're saying his character is going to be darker. And, and I, out of the three, I can see that maybe Daryl might get a little darker or uh, get uh, fall back into himself in the sense that like he might not be as uh, friendly as he used to be. Just because of Beth dying and uh, how they got kind of close at one point uh, during, I think, either the second half of the fourth season or the first half of the fifth season. I forget where, but it's somewhere during the time where uh, Governor's dead, the jail is no more and they pretty much all went their separate ways. I think at that point that's what I'm talking about. So uh yeah. And um so I guess that's just for me my opinion is he may go darker for maybe like an episode or two that he's gonna be shown. But other than that, I can't really see him um go darker, like his character wise go darker. Um, also, according to cinemaland.com uh, or .org or whatever, they also say Meg is going to get darker. And this is where I can see this possibly happening. And the reason why I say this is because it happens in uh, the graphic novel series. I don't think it's the same way, if I remember remembering it correctly. But she, uh, but Beth does die, and Maggie goes into kind of a depression in a way, which you kind of see in the commercials for this coming up uh, second half of the fifth season of The Walking Dead, because you see her bawling her eyes out by a car, and that's just like a little clue of what may be to come. Now, I won't say what will happen, because I don't want to ruin it, and also, it might not even happen. So, um, all I will say is, is that, uh, Negan, if you don't know who that character is, check it out. I believe it's N-E-G-A-N. Um, uh, check it out, and you'll know why I'm, uh, but you might not want to know why. But anyways, uh, he is, let's just say, he's more of a bad guy than the governor is. And more evil than the uh, cannibals are. In my opinion, at least. Um, so, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, he doesn't eat humans. But... He does do a lot of evil things, and he says the F word a lot, in many different ways, um, which is not really ruining anything. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and he might, and the only reason why I say might is because they kind of hinted it in one of the commercials for uh, the second half of this season. So it's a possibility. Like they never showed him, but they may they, they showed the place that he is near. So it's a possibility, but I wouldn't say he would come until near the very end. So I would say maybe around episode six, seven, or eight of no, sorry, sixteen, seventeen, or eighteen of the final season, or this season, I mean, not the final season, because they haven't, they've already been uh, picked up for another season, if I remember correctly, so anyways, um, 
whenever you watch this morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and hopefully you enjoy The Walking Dead tonight. And don't forget, uh, Talking Dead, it's going to be on an hour later, uh, because uh, Better Call Saul is right, on, right after uh, The Walking Dead, so also check that out if you're a Breaking Bad fan. I've heard that it's really good, uh, so, and it doesn't disappoint. So check that out too. So whenever you watch this, go on, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and goodbye.